And just remember, he's coming back out. I don't know, you might have had to be rushed to throw it or something. No, it's just that. He knew he was open. Great job, but you got to go through your progression. You look to the Y, the Z is nobody there, okay? You go to Y, safety kicks down, right? Takes him, go to the next one. You read that front side safety, if he takes him, the other one's a touch. Great job scrambling around. That was a rare inside look to the sidelines, hearing Coach Jones coaching what was possibly the biggest game in school history. Coach, was there any different approach that you had being that so much was on the line, even for you? Um, no, uh, there, there wasn't actually. It was just like another game to me. Um, but I think it's because of 30 years of <laughs> doing what I do. Uh, I was really uh, excited for, uh, you know, the players. Uh, they, they have been so focused and done such a great job all year and, and just one game at a time. And, and uh, we need to do that one more time. Huskies have had a very up and down year as mm -hmm. we start talking about Washington uh, beating Boise and Cal, hanging with USC early in the season, and just this Saturday um, came up short just by a touchdown against Washington State. Yeah, no, they've had uh, their ups and downs, like you said. I'm glad they lost today mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they might have been riding a little momentum off of that win. But, you know, this is going to be their bowl game. Uh, they understand, you know, I've heard a lot of ripplings about their coach, you know, may be there, may not. And so so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of emotions in this game. And, uh, you know, they're going to come ready to play. they got some local kids on their team. they got some Polynesian kids that, uh, you know, are going to uh, raise their game to play against us. And early, if we let them in the game early, if they uh, are competitive with us, then it's going to be a long day. On offense, they have a redshirt freshman that has really shown that he, he can play collegiate football. Jake Locker, mm -hmm. um, he can do it both with his arm and his feet. Well, he does it more with his feet. And, uh, you know, he, he's kind of like Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, he, he's the guy for, for their team. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to uh, manage a way to uh, neutralize him, that's for sure. Uh, he, he, he's six foot, I think, three or four, 220 pounds, and runs a 10, three or 400 meters. So if we don't uh, get around him, he can take it to the house. And you just got off controlling Ian Johnson. Now you've got another guy that really pounds mm -hmm. the ball, and that is Lewis Rankin. He's rushed for more than 1,100 yards and has six touchdowns on the well, season. Well, he's, uh, he's probably uh, more electric than any player I've looked at on uh, tape this year. I thought uh, Avery, in fact, to be quite honest, I thought Avery looked more uh, uh, scary than, than Ian Johnson mm -hmm. did when he played him last week. This kid looks like Avery, except a little bigger, a little faster. So uh, we've got our hands full. We've got, we got to be able to stop the run. Coach, if you were a voter and you had a say, mm -hmm. where do you think Hawaii belongs in the BCS? Standards? Well, I, I certainly think we should be in the top 12. Uh, you know, there's no question about that. Um, you know, how that all sorts out, because I'm not on that voting deal, I, I don't really know. But, you know, maybe we can be the Cinderella team before, uh, before the year's out. I'm sure Hawaii would not mind that mm. scenario playing out. Looking to be 12-0 and 0 next week with a win over Washington. Good luck, Coach. Hey, thanks, Liz. We're watching from now. Legendary Notre Dame coach Lou Holtz once said, if what you did yesterday seems big, you haven't done anything today. Yes, this was the big one. The Warriors finally broke through, dethroning the reigning champs, seizing the long-coveted conference crown, and keeping their undefeated season alive. Heck, this was the biggest one ever. But oh, hold on there. They're not done yet. Now Hawaii has to set its sights on the visiting Huskies, who you know are thinking upset. And after coming this far with a BCS game, a near reality, the mentality for the Warriors is all or nothing. Because only a victory can break them into a small group of football's elite, a party once reserved for the traditional list of names. That said, this is now the biggest game in UH history. Our thanks go to Coach Jones and Cole Brennan for being a part of the show. We'll see you next week.